The COVID-19 pandemic has set a new trajectory for regulations and policies around the world, affecting people's lives young and old. Among the most affected ones are the mothers adjusting to shifting daily schedules and taking on new roles to adapt with these times. More of this story from the Eagle News correspondent Diana Pedro in Sydney. Diana? It's undeniable that the lockdown due to the pandemic has changed many's lifestyle massively. Let's hear how this is true for the mothers from our very own ABC Australia Oceania correspondents. Lani, one of our Sydney correspondents, has three children. She shared the sudden change she experienced in her routine. Um, I, used to, I used to work every day in the restaurant and then this pandemic came. And a bit of change for, for me because I'm stuck at home. It was lockdown. A big change in their day-to-day -day life is felt by Emmy, our correspondent from Queensland and a mom of a four-year-old toddler. I wore the hat of being a teacher, um, at the same time being a mother, and uh, we explored so many activities for him. I think that was the time when we had so many activities indoors, and um, it was an opportunity actually to teach kids um, more about life lessons, because I had to really force myself to um, manage my time. So time management, um, it's more of um, more of being practical and more of um, being mindful of really following the time. I could relate to that. Yours truly is a new mother. Because of the border restrictions, I'm not able to have the help as intended with my now nine-month-old boy. So I, I learned to prioritize even more, to let go of the things that I couldn't anymore do um, because I'm a neat freak starting to come to terms with it. Um, because, you know, sometimes I'd rather play with my son rather than um, spend time cleaning, scrubbing. Um, that's not the priority right now. So, um. Lorene is from our team in Papua New Guinea. Being her usual funny self, she found new ways to bond with her kids in binging over Korean drama shows and making TikTok videos. Anna from Sydney Bureau felt the change the most in her working arrangements. She shares this experience with her 20-year-old son, who is also working. When asked what lessons she'd like him to pick up while we're in lockdown, her response is related to this. And self-discipline as well. My son, since he's already grown up, he has aspirations himself. But um, yeah, I, I wish that he would learn to maintain a good work ethic as well, now that he has, he knows to be responsible. Um, to holding yourself accountable as well. Just because no one is seeing how you're doing your work doesn't mean that you can just slack off or or just take things easy. You still have to keep everything um, working well and make yourself work well as well. As the world stopped and shut its doors, we're not as free as before to do what we want. But we are now spending way more time with our families than ever before. These parents want their children to see the silver lining. In addition, as for me and my little one, I wouldn't be able to remember about anything, um, but this is a history in the making, right? Um, I want to make sure that he knows that, and he, he's already alive when, when um, the world stopped and shut its doors. And I want him to be aware of that historically, about um, everything that you said, about um, the things that we've learned as could be expected, the common denominator in what these mums want our young ones to take away from this period is resilience and hope that there are better days ahead. 
in hoping that this pandemic will be over, faith that there will always be light at the end of the tunnel, and that um, faith that there will always be greater days um, um, ahead of us before how to um, stay stay active in the church. And I hope. They will continue that and um, uh, also most importantly i wish my son will maintain his faith and continue to be active and to continue to be prayerful and like sister amy said to keep on trusting and hoping and always always put the trust in our almighty father and that's from sydney australia this is diana pedro eagle news we live in interesting times. Thank you, Diana. Indeed, in every crisis comes opportunity.